one of the really important reasons to build wind is you can actually build it incrementally. You don't have to build 1100 megawatts for, uh, all at once. You can build the power when you need the power. And I think that's a big change in how we've actually developed the electricity market across the world. Now we don't need to build 2000 megawatts at a time. We can actually build a small wind farm and go with the times in terms of the energy demand. And I think that's the real benefit of wind and certainly a lot of other renewables. I think historically in the province, we've developed uh, hydro assets and it has really come from that, that I think we're used to developing that and there hasn't been an uptake in uh, wind energy development. What needs to change for us to catch up is a policy directive from the government. Uh, we need to have some policy focus from the government that says wind energy is important to the province. There's going to be room here in terms of our energy mix uh, for, for uh, wind energy in British Columbia. So it really comes at the political level. What we've seen in Ontario and what we've seen in Quebec is when governments actually focus on the need to have wind energy, it does get done. What we have right now in BC is something heavily weighted towards hydro. And we, we think by adding wind into the grid, maybe even solar, uh, we're going to have a much more diverse grid and a much more diverse energy mix that we get from uh, uh, different sources rather than just hydro.